Good morning. I'd like to share another short devotional thought again from Psalm 46, and we're going to read that psalm together. Psalm 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, Selah, there is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. The nations raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord, who has made desolations in the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. I'm sure you've heard the saying, we're living in unprecedented times. We're living in unchartered territory. We've never experienced a pandemic before in my lifetime and in your lifetime. And there's a lot of uncertainty. Perhaps you're uncertain about your health. Perhaps you're uncertain about your job. But let's look at how we can find certainty. And let's think about the character of God this morning. And let's think about who God is. Because that's what the psalm begins with. It talks about God being our refuge and strength. And we know that a refuge is a place of shelter. It's a place where we run to and we find some form of safety and security. But God has not provided a refuge for us. God is our refuge. And God is also the source of our strength this morning. And God is also a very present help in trouble. Very often we have the prospect or possibility, if we're in trouble, that someone may come and help us. But here we have the promise that God is with us. It doesn't mean that we're immune or exempt from trouble, but it, we do have the promise that God is with us, whatever our troubles might be. And then the psalmist is able to say, therefore, in other words, in light of the fact that God is our refuge and strength, in light of the fact that God is a very present help, therefore, we will not fear. Why not? Because of who God is. And he says, we will not fear even though there is calamity and catastrophe all around us. Even though the mountains, verse 2, should be carried into the midst of the sea. Even though things that seem completely steadfast and stable would be turned upside down. Even then, God who is unchanging, is still the source of our strength and he himself is our refuge, the one that we can run to. And then in verse 4, it says something else. It speaks about a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God. We can't be quite sure of the context of Psalm 46. But many people believe that Psalm 46 was written because Jerusalem at one point had been surrounded by an Assyrian army and that God had supernaturally intervened and delivered them and destroyed many of the Assyrians so that they didn't actually attack the city of Jerusalem. But it says here that there is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God. We know that in antiquity, a fresh supply of water was so important for a city. It was important because if the city was surrounded, 
then the people needed water in order to survive. And of course, it says here, there is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God. And we know this morning, if we have made God our refuge, if we have Christ in our lives, then here's what Jesus said in John's Gospel, chapter 7. Jesus reminds us of who he is. And Jesus says this, He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. If anyone thirsts, Jesus said, let him come to me and drink. And so just as a river is a source of life for a city under siege and surrounded, God the Holy Spirit indwells everyone who belongs to and has believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. And God the Holy Spirit constantly supplies our needs on a daily basis. Remember what the Apostle Paul said, My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. And so this morning as we start this new day, as we start this new week, let's reflect again on who God is. He's not just our refuge and strength and our present help and trouble, but he's the one who is constantly supplying us with everything that we need. May the Lord bless you and encourage you today.